At this point, I think I'm pretty spoiled. Well varied in their quality, this year has been fantastic in terms of new skin thematics for League of Legends. So much so that after only two patches of repeats, I was aching for something fresh. Funky fresh, if you will. <laughs> Street Demons! Based on the newly established Concrete Canvas universe, a realm where humans and monsters alike gather in celebration and friendly competition to see who can create the biggest and boldest street art around. Obviously, the skinline takes heavy inspiration from street art and graffiti aesthetics, much like Wild Rift's own Chroma Crash universe. Except this time around, instead of humans, this roster is comprised entirely of Japanese yokai and other Eastern mythologies. The Red Oni, the Blue Oni, a Kappa, a Jianshi, a Will O Wisp, and of course, a. Uh, the Lunar Beast? Keep in mind, while I have taken several university courses on Greek and Roman history, my extent of Japanese mythology about boils down to my 300 hours in Monster Hunter Rise. So how does each artist express their unique painting style? Well, let's check them out together, shall we? Starting with Street Demon Nico. Talk about a perfect fit for the skin line. Nico's magic was already goopy and paint-like. She feels right at home here. Plus, I have always been an advocate for a more lizard-like Nico. The idea that Herbastein species is the one most distantly linked from humans, and yet she just looks like a human with a lizard tail and green body paint. But here, she is fully green at long last, and all the better for it. The weird part about this one, though, is that she's supposed to be a Kappa. Hey, that's a yokai that I actually recognize, thanks to Tronodon. The thing is, Kappas are usually ugly as fuck balding turtle things. And sure, she has a little turtle shell backpack, but aside from that, she definitely reads more like some kind of gecko or basilisk. Regardless, it's still a wonderful skin. Sapphire's the best chroma, 8 out of 10. Street Demon Dr. Mundo. It's been a long time coming, around 175 days, in fact, since Mundo's last skin, and to be honest, we all knew what the outcome would be. No matter how good this is, no matter how different it is from the rest of his catalog, it was never going to top Corporate Mundo. It's his peak skin and nothing will ever change that. All subsequent skins will forever be fighting for second place. But as for Street Demon, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. I'm very happy Wright realized Goofy Mundo is best Mundo and learned to lean more into that aspect of him here, as his primary method of artistry is finger painting. Though I think they might have tried a bit too hard to make him look cool here, what with the crop jacket, Jack's arms, and clawed toes. But my biggest point of contempt with his skin is his knife. He's a finger painter. What is he doing with a knife? Does he think the walls bleed paint or something? Okay, actually, that would have been pretty funny. But he's had blunt objects for weapons and skins before, so this really just should have been a paint of tubers. A paint of tube? Still, happy to see the big guy get his long-deserved skin, even if nearly five years of built-up. I'm still a down. Citrine is the best chroma. Seven out of ten. Street Demon Rengar. It's kind of unreal. This is the third time in the past four years Rengar's gotten an LPP chroma, and this is probably the part of the video where I'd say I'd be giving away this new skin to some of you guys thanks to my LPP membership. If I had one! The stealth artist of the group, one who leaves his work without a trace. Nobody knows where he is at any given time, and as such, new works of his popping up is always a surprise. Not really sure how true that is, considering it isn't very discreet to be running around with your hair on fire, but there's a lot of things I don't like about this one. For starters, his tail should have been the paintbrush. It's already shaped like one. But the weirdest misstep to me is a lot like Mundo, having actual weapons for him here makes no goddamn sense. The skin looks pretty, of course, but it really feels more like a bucket list of oops, we forgot to make a Rengar skin for two years rather than making one for him that actually suits him. The chromas are fucking radical, though. Pearl is the best chroma. 6 out of 10. Street Demon Brand. See? Now here's a champion that makes total sense for this skin universe. Using burning paint to create something new and beautiful out of the destruction he causes. Yep. His costume makes sense for the rebellious punk that he is, a nice parallel to his return incarnation. His color scheme is vibrant and loud, yet cohesive and non-distracting. And that jack-o'-lantern zigzagging smile is exemplary. Surely I have no bias in that. My only nitpicks is as an explosive artist, the design really would have benefited from paint splotches all over his body. Body. Really sell the idea that he's not afraid to get a little messy. That and give him an ASU so his animations don't make him look like he's an NPC straight out of oblivion. Do it again. Do it. End my misery. Well, I have a soft spot for Zombie and Mega Man brand, dare I say, this is the best he's probably ever looked. Emerald is the best chroma. 9 out of 10. Street Demon Zyra. <sighs> As usual, Twitter was pretty normal about this one. And I may be called crazy for this, but I really think this skin could have been so much better if it just ditched the plant thematic altogether. Her body and clothes give no indication she has anything to do with flowers or nature. She looks like a badass devil in cool streetwear, yet all of her particle effects and even her bio depict her as proficient in painting flowers. Boring. Dragon Sorceress is the only skin of hers that had the balls to make her ability something other than plants. I just would have loved it if in this skin they could have been paint constructs, demons, or snakes, or something. Besides my silly particle effect gripe, though, this is an awesome skin. One of her best, in fact, and a wonderful contrast to Mundo being the red and blue Onis. I actually think her default color scheme is better than all her chromas, but I guess Pearl's the better one? 8 out of 10. Street Demon Briar. Briar. Fuck. The launch skin for the vampire, who has definitely not been subject to any controversy over the last two weeks, no sir, providing solid proof that designing skins for her in the future is going to be a daunting task, much like Warwick's canisters or Corky 12 Polygon. How do you incorporate the pillory to not only look good, but have it be a natural part of the design in an alternate universe? Short answer in this case is, 
It just doesn't. Frankly, it looks like a flotation device. It was a clever call to make her a Jianshi. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Jianshi. But since pretty much all the other street demons are based on Japanese yokai, it makes her stand out like a sore thumb even more so than new champions already do. I don't know what else to say about this one other than I guess I've seen worse launch skins. Emerald is the best chroma. 5 out of 10. Overall, the street demons get a 7 out of 10. I like them, and the concept is really goddamn cool, but aside from a few outliers like Brand and Nico, what's holding the skin line back was giving it to the wrong champions. Most of the ones we got, though, in my opinion, didn't really fit the thematic they were going for here, and as a result, the skin line doesn't really land as well as I think it deserved to. But those are my thoughts. What do you fellas think of street fighters? I mean speed demons. I mean street fighters. <laughs> are you a fan of this thematic, or perhaps you're not enough of a sophisticated artiste as I to admire them? I don't get it. Till next time, though, fellas. Well, Riot doesn't always hit the mark dead on. I love it when they try something new for a change, and like I said, even if the base colors aren't too good for some of these, the chromas are still amazing. I'll definitely be picking up some of these in the Essence Emporium rolling around next year. You know, if it actually fucking works this time. <laughs>